What's going on everybody? All right, so by the time you watch this video, I should be 29 because my birthday is right around the corner. And it's such a weird feeling. Um, it feels like the Friends episode when Joey turned 30. Why, God, why? It's kind of scary, but that's okay because there's actually a lot of really awesome things that happened to me this year. Uh, and, and that's really why I'm making this video. Usually I'll be doing my regular arm wrestling content, which I will be talking about arm wrestling in this video too. But a lot of cool things happened in 2023, 2024 and my age of being 28 and now 29. So kind of want to share that with you and um, give you some of my wisdom, insight, and then, you know, take what you, what you want from it, you know, so. So point number one, investing into yourself. And you're going to hear this throughout your life, but it really became evident this year, this time, this age, uh, especially after like, you know, I got my own place and I started really wanting to build it the way I've always wanted to build my apartment or house. It's just like Plowman's way. And one of my biggest investments was just building out this entire gym room. I started my arm wrestling channel in my previous location where I lived and it just it was really cluttered. I had no space. Uh, it was hard to make content. It was hard to work out. So that's one reason. And then at the same time, I don't like going to the gym. It's also cluttered. It's, and it's a waiting game, especially if you want specific equipment or gear that you want to use and, and someone's always on it. And it, it kind of takes away from this you know, this vibe you have of wanting to work out and getting everything done. So I dedicate an entire room. This is my work office, but then I have my entire gym. So I got the arm wrestling table. I got a back extension machine. I got a bunch of weights here and I got a bench, more weights, a grip wall, light bands, a cool painting painted by my mama because she's an artist and she's really awesome. So next time, you know, think about investing yourself. Um, if you have no financial goals and you're just saving money, it's okay. Spend some of it, make yourself happier. All right. So for lesson number two, or, or just like my tidbit on number two is become excellent at your passions. And this is going to be like a lifelong thing. And uh, there's always something to work towards if you want to become excellent. And I'm going to share just a little bit about what I've been working on lately. So I got two passions, one arm wrestling and two YouTube. And we'll start with YouTube because it runs way deeper than arm wrestling. So this is something that I've been doing on and off since I was 14 across three or four different YouTubes. And it was always inconsistent. I never fully did my studies. I was always impatient and because of these, I failed every single time and I'm still in the process of learning. So ever since I started my YouTube again, you know, back again, same channel, this time it was arm wrestling and it finally felt how it should feel if I want to be building an audience and a channel for a specific niche. So for the first time I'm able to say I'm making good traction, I'm growing the channel and I'm being consistent at it because I'm really passionate about the YouTube and the arm wrestling uh, equally and I can work on both and just become, you know, like excellent at it. I've been an active person my whole life. Um, not really into like specific sports, but more so like bodybuilding and just staying in good shape. Ever since I was five, I've been doing workouts, etc., push-ups, sit-ups. And then once I got older, I started doing bodybuilding. But then it got boring. And for the longest time, for a few years, I always thought to myself, you know, it'd be kind of funny if I just started to get into arm wrestling, but kind of wild, you know, you can break your arm and, and it looks really dangerous. And that's kind of like what I was thinking at the time. And then one day I was just like, let's do it. I'm just going to start training. And I looked up some basic uh, lifts from Devin and I started applying them. And then soon I met a crowd. I started practicing arm wrestling. I started improving 
I started gaining weight the way I wanted to. I've always struggled gaining weight. Now I'm sitting comfortably at about 170, which is something I've never been able to achieve before. Um, I've gotten way stronger. I've fixed, you know, elbow tendonitis issues I've developed previously from just not taking care of my body and not um, working on it consistently every day. So the great thing about arm wrestling is that I can apply bodybuilding concepts um, to it to gain the muscle, gain, you know, I started eating better, so I'm uh, counting my calories. And, you know, initially I realized that I wasn't eating enough, which once I fixed that, I started gaining my weight and uh, building a lot more muscle faster, which is a problem many people have. And and a lot of people are thinking that if I just train harder and arm wrestle better, I'll become really good. But honestly, diet is probably 80% of all physical sports. If you don't have a good diet, you won't recover well, you won't gain weight, as in muscle weight, stay lean, and, and you won't get stronger, which is one of the most number one rules in arm wrestling is always be stronger. So. All right, guys, and for number three, travel, period, right? And by travel, I don't mean go to the same, <laughs> go to the same beach house that you own every single summer, right? I'm saying go to a different country, experience the diversity, experience the culture and the food and everything that area has to offer. So fortunately, I was able to do that uh, back, you know, end of 2023. I spent some time in Vietnam with my family and my girlfriend. And you're gonna see some of those videos if you look on my channel. There's uh, me arm wrestling the Vietnamese. But it was more than just arm wrestling. It was just a big trip about you know exploration, trying out foods, um, experiencing the daily life of a Vietnamese person and just being a part of the chaos uh, that Vietnam is in the best way possible. Um, <laughs> crossing the street is going to be the toughest thing you'll have to learn when you get to Vietnam because there's literally almost no street rules. It just doesn't exist. And um, it's, I, just, I just think it's pretty awesome. So uh, I'll be posting, you know, quite some pictures from my trip and videos of just what I've done and experienced on this video as I'm talking, so enjoy. All right, so number four is family and friends. And as I've gotten older, I just appreciate my family and friends that I have. Um, they're my support systems, they're always there for me. And, you know, they're the reason uh, I am where I am, and that's a fact. And. Um, some people can have a vastly different opinion than I do. Some people can say, fuck people, and it's all about career and making money. And that's okay. I mean, money is important. You have to, you have to make money if you want to survive. That's just a fact. But it seems more evident to me that I take priority in friends and family over my career. Um, not that it, it's ever, not that I've ever had to really do that, but I always put my foot down. I always, you know, if something in my career is going to make me super unhappy and then result isn't going to really further my career much, much more than initially, then I would just, um, say no. So. And that's a very deep topic. Uh, I'm just scratching the surface of it, but um, appreciate the family and friends that you have. Look back on them and just be thankful. Uh, as you get older, you're gonna experience unfortunate things and people are not going to be in your lives anymore. And that's just the way it is. So cherish every moment you can with your friends and family. All right, so last thing, Work-life balance, you're gonna be working. That's a fact, unless you become a millionaire, you're gonna be working. Um, it could be career-related, it could be just a normal job that you need to support yourself. 
You may or may not become obsessed with it, but you may have a time and period where you'd be just relentlessly working and you don't have any time for anything else. You have no time for yourself. You have no time for your family. You have no time for your passions. Um, also another thing, your passions can become work and then that can, can entirely consume your life and that ruins relationships, etc. It's up to you guys to figure out finding your, you know, your, your perfect balancing point because when you find that perfect balancing point between yourself, your family, your work, your passions, everything, uh, it becomes this unison thing. You're always happy. You're much happier. Maybe not always happy, much happier. Um, things flow better. Um, you're actually getting a lot more work done as well because uh, if you, you know, if there's an imbalance and, and that leans one way, you're going to become burnt out and you can get stressed and you become less productive as well. So something to be mindful of. Uh, I think about this all the time and ways to improve it. And it's become more important as I've gotten older. So initially when I was younger, I just wanted to make money, get some savings. That was a priority. But once I achieved that, um, not as important. It's just more about living a chill life and just being happy. And, and that translates into every aspect uh, that you decide to do. So that's pretty much it. That's my last one for this. Um, five things I wanted to talk about uh, as far as this year and my birthday. So if you guys watch this, thank you so much for watching. If you took anything from this, I hope you get to apply it in your life. I hope you use it in the most positive way that you can and become better and more excellent every, every day. And also be excellent to each other. Be nice to each other. Um, that's it. So if you guys like this video, it's not my usual video. It's just, it's just a special occasion. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. And um, I'll see you next time. So I'll be just doing more arm wrestling content until I'm world champion. So anyway, peace out. Bye.